My name is Michael Fisher. I'm with Property Management Inc. We're a property management franchisor for over 400 different franchises. And I'm just here at IMN to learn more about single family residential and AI. So I'm Nicholas Jacobson. I'm here at the IMN conference with Michael Fisher. Have you picked up anything interesting so far? Oh, tons of different things. Some of them AI specific, some of them not. Just it's interesting to see so many people struggling with some of the similar problems, especially at similar stages in their business. Some of the statistics about the majority of property manager, you know, so, so many of them are under 150 units versus the 1%, 1,000 and over. And so th some of those things are really interesting, but AI in particular is so new. Those who jump on board and start having that as a, as a part of their service offering to be able to, to provide premier services for, to the clients, those that do it first are going to be so so far ahead and be able to provide more services because it doesn't require a uh, specific labor or manpower to be able to provide that service. No, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, it's, it's really exciting to see that. As part of a, a corporate franchise and overseeing lots of different levels of unit counts and property managers. What kind of challenges have you faced that you've implemented technology to get around and how did you overcome those challenges? So AI is new enough. We're all just kind of figuring that out yeah. and, and it's its role. So there's some elementary implementation, you know, chat GPT and, and the role that that can play in your business. But I see AI playing a much, much bigger role in our business. I see it in the future. You just give it certain data points and it can figure out what you need to do within your business what model might work at different stages in your business because that's one of the challenges that we have as a franchisor is we're dealing with the company life cycle from startup all the way to thousands of doors right yeah. and so that requires different partners or the utilization of those partners in a different way at different stages of their of their business and so that's one of the things that i think ai is really can can really play an important role it can start to tell us based on the data that we give it, when we should hire the next person to be ready, given the growth numbers. Given these growth numbers, you should be hiring somebody by this date so they can be proficient by this date because that's when you're gonna need this additional person on your on your team. It can do that with, we call it the, the PMI way or the, the PMI blueprint. It yeah. can, tell you, can tell you how you should be using somebody like Vendoru in your business at one stage versus another stage. Now you need to start transitioning to using this, this partner in this way. And I think those are all data points that we have. And as we put those together, I think it'll really help property managers just provide a better level of service and, and run their business, businesses like more efficiently. Absolutely. And that also helps really engage the newcomers to the business, help them scale and help them grow and help them achieve the business that they, they signed on to, to achieve. Yeah. So great. So my next question for you is, where do you see gaps in the current market that you think that technology might be able to solve? Well, we're starting to see some of those developments with, I mean, shared inbox has been around for a while, but AI's uh, ability to assign tasks or assign different levels of priority, given on tone of the email and different situations. If it's a maintenance based email, then it might go to one part a department versus another. I think that increases quite a bit of efficiency. And then ultimately customer service. That's something that we're starting to see gaps being filled in. Certainly, like I described, company management predictions, just so you can better manage your business, marketing and advertising. You know, there's, there's certain months that are better than others for lead generation. Well, unless you're deep inside of, of analyzing all of that data, it's, it'd be really difficult to, to analyze that data and, and figure out an actual attack plan. Well, 
as long as AI has that data, it can tell you, gosh, you know, based on industry trends, based on the numbers that, that you've reported to me, these particular months are, are your highest onboarding of new clients and lead generation. So you should increase marketing during these months, decrease marketing in these months. And I think AI can help you to do that, help you to make those decisions. Great. So my next question is, I'm a big fan of from two statements. So what Venderu is doing is we're trying to bring the focus from task management, resident experience, because you can do a work order perfectly today and still end up with a disgruntled owner. So we're bringing that to the owner experience as far as running through and, and, and keeping the owner involved so they, they are not necessarily involved in the decision, but they're aware of what's happening along the road from the, the work order creation to it being built to them. So they don't have surprises at the end of the day. So from your perspective and your experience, where do you see in maintenance in general, where do you see our current situation? What's the industry norm is and where do you see it going? I see it getting getting better and more efficient, and I think I think AI does also play a part in that. You know, one of the things that we do inside PMI, within all of our processes, we have what we call value based milestones, and these are different tasks within the processes in our, in our business that we've targeted as opportunities to provide the most value or communicate the most value. It gets kind of gets back to, you know, if a tree falls and no one's there to hear it, you know, does it make a sound, right? Well, if you do things in your business that add value to a client, but they don't know that you did those things, you haven't communicated those things to them, did they happen? Well, in their reality, they have not happened. And so sometimes we get clients coming to us and, and say, hey, I'm I'm done with your guys' service. You said you were going to do property inspections and you haven't done one. And we've done eight of them. But we didn't let them know that we did this and nothing was wrong with the property. And so I think that's where AI also and different tools can come in to help better manage this sensitive time. And maintenance is one of those big reasons why clients choose to terminate their property management company. And so what that tells me is there's something wrong with the value that they're receiving during that important time that we're not, we're not providing it or we're not communicating it in the right way. And I think that's where partners can really come in and help to manage something like that. So if you're having a churn problem within your business and you're targeting maintenance as one of those problems, then vendor partners are a great way to be able to effectively manage that and provide a higher level of value for clients. And I think at the end of the day, especially in economies like this, we're not as much competing against the pricing or something like that of another property management company, yeah. right? What we're competing against in a down economy is the choices that people are making with their money. You see, they're having to make the choice now of going on vacation with their family or hiring a property manager. And so if we don't show them how we can appropriately help them accomplish their goals by using us and, and providing a stack of value to where it makes so much sense to spend your money with you as a, as a property manager versus somebody else. It's, it's that we're competing against where those dollars are being spent whether they're going to vacation or whether they're going to property management. That's what we're competing against. And so different partners and different offerings within our company that provide a huge amount of value, that's where we stop seeing churn. That's where we start seeing higher sales because we're able to win against other demands for money versus just providing property management. Those days are, I mean, that we're, we hope they'll come back, right? Yeah. But, you know, when back in, you know, 2008, 2010, you know, things like that, man, if you had a pulse and just said you had a dollar, you were an investor, right? Yeah. And so we were competing more. We had so many leads. We were competing more against other property management companies. Well, now, you know, inflation is up. All of these things are going on in the, in the economy. They're now making choices, not between which property manager to use, Although that, that's certainly a certainly a choice they have to make, but more where they're going to spend money. And, and that's where value comes in. Yeah. 
and it's also displaying that to them. It's kind of like a, a high school or a, a college math class. You've got to show your work to get credit for what you've done. If you're not showing the, your client what you have done for them, they don't think you did any work and they're out the door. Yeah. Great. Well, it was a pleasure talking hey, to you, Michael. I really appreciate your time.